Hi there, so in this video I want to have a look at Sonos Audio products to see how much power they use when they're idle and when they're in use. Because I have no idea how much these things are costing me when I'm kind of not using them. Now I have about seven or eight uh, Sonos products. Yeah, I know, it's quite a few, but that's what happens. You buy one, then they keep making you buy more. Uh, not all of them were paid for, I must admit. A couple came free from like Vodafone Broadband for signing up and a, a Zone player, I kind of bought that second hand, but there's quite a few uh, in the house. So I've got three distinct types of Sonos players. I've got Play Ones, a Play 3, and a ZP100 Zone player or an old amp and a newer Connect amp as well. And also I've got a Sonos Bridge also running as well, sort of connecting those together. So how did I measure all of this energy? Well, basically I used my trusty TP-Link HS110 uh, energy monitoring smart plug. Now, if you wanna buy one of these, I've put a link in the description below to Amazon so you can check out some uh, smart plugs, not particularly the TP-Link ones. There are other manufacturers out there, but take a look at those. But this is what I used, and these are the screenshots of the TP-Link app monitoring how many watts these things are taking up. So to start off with, Sonos on their website actually have a list of all of their products and how many watts they take when they're idle. And I've put a link to that page in the description below as well. So let's have a look on there first of all. I mean, the first thing that I can see, there's lists for North America and for the EU as well. So the Play 1 uses 3.8 watts. Uh, the Play 3 is supposed to use 4.4 watts. And the Connect Amp, 6.4 watts when idle. Uh, they've also listed a separate amp there as well, 6.8 watts. Um, so go and have a look on this list um, if you've got different products to me. One big thing that I did see on there actually, just look at the Play 5 Gen 1. Um, at 8 watts. That's one of the highest idols on there, actually. 8 watts for the Play 5 Gen 1, compared to just below it, the Play 5 Gen 2, only takes 2.2 watts. So that is a really big drop in the amount of watts that that uh, Play 5 is using between those versions. So let's start with the Sonos Play 1. And on the chart, that was recorded under the EU value as idling at 3.8 watts. So here we are on the Casa. Uh, TP link screen and yeah look on the top left hand corner there 3.7 you know around 3.75 so that is correct it is idling at around that value for the play one so that's brilliant okay now let's turn on the play one and we're going to set it to 50% volume and see how much power it draws Okay, so we're now on 4.75, 4.8 uh, with the Play 1 playing. So that's not bad. I mean, it's not using too much power actually when it's being used. Uh, it seems to use a lot more just being idle and being asleep. Okay, next up is the Connect Amp. Now on the uh, Sonos page, that was saying for the Connect Amp, 6.4 watts and for the Amp, 6.8. So you can see here, I think that it's running 6. Point, what 6.1, 6.5. So that's correct too as well. Not too bad at all. Let's turn on the amp and let's get it to 50% uh, volume and see how much that draws. Okay, so now we're on around 18 watts. So that's kind of nearly triple what the idle is. As you'd expect, it's a big, big amp with a lot of output. So 18 watts, not too bad. And finally, um, the Play 3, which in the EU, it says 4.4 watts. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty bang on as well. 4.4 uh, coming out of there. So let's set this up to be 50% uh, volume and get this turned on as well. And so now this jumps up to around 5.5 watts. Not too bad for 50% volume, although again, uh, it rests at 4.4, so it's not using only one more kind of watt, really, to actually be playing something. Okay, so with all this uh, data now proved and in hand, I've created a spreadsheet uh, in Excel. 
listing all of my uh, devices on the left hand side i've included the bridge here as well uh, mainly because um, i've got one and i trust the values as all the other kind of values are correct so i've entered 21 pence per kilowatt hour that's the current rate in early uh, 2022 in the uk it's going to go up to 28 pence minimum in april so I'll add and change these numbers um, in a minute. So what have we got? Well, basically we've got the watts idle. So this is all based on idle costs, okay? Not actually playing costs. Um, so we've got the play ones adding up to, if I have them all on per hour, cost me 44 uh, watts per hour. And then I've done per day, um, basically a kilowatt more or less, a thousand watts per day and per month. 31,000 watts and then per year as well as the number gets a lot bigger so that's the watt section in the light blue area and then in the gray I've done it with the costings so um, if we look at I can double check my kind of uh, pricing so we did a thousand per day so uh, 22 pence just over a thousand so 22 pence that works out because it's 21 pence per kilowatt so yeah a kilowatt is correct so per day uh, 22 pence a day to have all of these items on standby uh, going up to six pounds 68 or six 68 dollars if you want um, per month if you're running at 21 pence or 21 cents a kilowatt going up to and this is really the big figure we want to look at i suppose really i mean i think six pounds is enough per month but per year 80 pounds a year to have these items on um, standby or to have them sitting on idle so if I just change this up because it's obviously this obviously could vary uh, depending on where you live and what you pay for your um, electric per kilowatt hour um, so if you were on say 15 if you were lucky enough to be on 15 you're spending about you know 58 pounds or 58 dollars a year on these on a setup like this being idle uh, if we change that up to the 28 uh, which is what most of us in the UK on the price cap will be paying after April 2022. It then kind of goes up to £9 a month nearly and uh, £108 a year, which seems quite a lot of money. I mean, if you've only got like a couple of Play Ones, then you're paying about, you could be paying so sort of £15 a year, uh, 12 to £18 a year, something like that, to have them sitting on idle. Um, so it sounds like, or it seems like a lot of money to me, to be honest. So I don't know what the kind of overall, what your thoughts on it are really. I mean, put your comments in the description below. I'd be really happy to see what you think about it. If you think it's a lot of money and you're going to start turning your, um, Sonos players off when you're not using them or whether you think it's okay, you know, to have them sort of left on. I think it's fine to probably have them left on if you kind of use the speakers every day or something like that. I mean, if you literally go a month without using them uh, in a room or something like that, then I'd probably turn them off, to be honest, at the plug uh, and not actually pay this kind of idle charge. One thing that did come towards my attention, obviously the amps here, um, they cost you know, nearly double what the Play Ones do per year. So I know my amps probably do use more because when I touch them and they're on idle, they, they feel warm. So there's obviously some power coming through there. So I may turn off um, my amps if I'm not using them, to be honest. Although more often than not, they're in a kind of a location which is kind of hidden away and they're harder to get to to kind of turn them off. Um, I said, don't believe the amps have an on-off switch at the back. Or do they? Can't remember now. I think you might have to just pull the plug or turn off the um, turn them off at the wall. Obviously, another alternative is to get a smart plug on there, uh, so you can control uh, from your phone when you want to turn it on and off, and then uh, use the Sonos app to to play on them. But the problem is with a smart plug is that they also uh, cost money to obviously buy in the first place and also uh, run. Um, so, you know, I've even read that sometimes the smart switches consume up to kind of two watts per hour when they're on. 
and also one what kind of when they're off just uh, on standby. But it's also kind of made me think about what other things in my house are kind of taking up electricity. Obviously, there are things that are on in the house 24-7, such as the alarm system, um, the CCTV, which I have five cameras with. That's probably taking a few watts, especially when that's kind of on recording. Uh, and also things like switches. I've got about four or five Ethernet switches in the house. And obviously there's the broadband router as well. That's taking power as, long as, as well as several other sort of things that are on standby including TVs and microwaves and that sort of thing. So it was just something to think about, really. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a like and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. See you soon.